So, as you may know, I have a PhD in physiology and biophysics. And physiology, just to define them, is the study of organ systems and how they function together. Biophysics is simply applying physics principles to a biological setting. And I, to be honest with you, I struggled a little bit early on to describe that to a lay person. And my mother always asks me, what, you know, what is physiology and biophysics? What do you do? Uh, you see, I have a sister who is a physician and a brother who is a computer scientist. And she, you know, to her, one fixes people, the other fixes computers. So what do you do? The middle child. And um, uh, as I matured in life and in science, I uh, realized that the analogy was always in front of me. We, we lived in a condo building on the fifth floor. And really, our physiology is very much set up similar to a condo building. You know, in the, in the building, we have essential floors, right? We have the first and second and the basement. If you take away those, the whole building collapses. Same happens in physiology. We have essential organs, vital organs. In fact, we call them vital organs, uh, like the heart, uh, the lungs, the kidneys, etc. If you take those away, then we are done, right? Uh, and our condo is very much set up in terms of structure to our uh, human bodies. We have different floors and we have hallways and we have um, rooms. Uh, we have the same thing in uh, uh, in, in our bodies. We call them tissues and organs and cells, etc. And for a condo building to function properly, now I lived in ones that do not function properly, but for the ones that function properly, uh, you need to have a continuous supply of stuff, right? Coming in, input. Uh, you can think of them as, you know, electricity, water, um, you know, cable, you know, sports package, preferably. Similarly, in our cells and in our organs, uh, we need a continuous supply of nutrients, right? Of glucose, of water, of, of, of sustenance, in other words. In the same way, uh, we need to have a good drainage system, good sewer lines in our condo building. Again, similarly, in our cells, we have several mechanisms and uh, structures and functions that actually do exactly that. The circulatory system, uh, the, the, the kidneys, uh, the gastrointestinal tract, all of that serve as uh, you know, clearance mechanisms for, you know, among other things, for you know, things that are unwanted. Even at the cellular level, we have uh, you know, byproducts and toxins that are the result of biosynthesis uh, that are unwanted, they will be cleared out. So, you know, you can see that there is a lot of similarity in the way we are structured and the condo building is structured. Now, every now and then, you get a delivery to your condo, um, you know, a FedEx, a, 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 a UPS, you don't know what that is, right? Similarly, in our uh, system physiology, you have deliveries all the time. Some are good, some are bad. So the vitamins are good. Uh, pathogens are bad. Uh, for the most part, right? You have, you know, from the influenza virus to the Ebola virus, we have packages that are delivered all, all the time to our systems. But really the point I would like to make is that this condo building houses people. And you can think of people as molecules, you know, to, to, to uh, complete the analogy. And some people have great affinity to each other. They work well together, they invite each other to dinners, they hang out together, and those are set up in the cellular system as what we call signaling pathways. They work in unison, they have a certain function, they are already and always um, uh, you know, functioning towards a goal. Now, there are some folks who should not be around each other and again, that's exactly the same way in the cellular systems. When they come close, uh, problems happen. You have you know, tumor suppressors and oncogenes, and there are, there are factors that 
antagonize each other all the time. So uh, uh, really, if we think about it in that fashion, uh, what I try to do is to understand how the signaling, is to understand how the structure uh, is laid out between these different um, factors at the cellular level and try to develop a blueprint, a framework, a network of understanding, both to understand how um, we function in normal healthy lives, but also when diseases and illnesses happen and at what level that you know, caveat or that mutation or that deregulation uh, happens in our cell. So that's in a nutshell uh, really what, uh, what I do. And that helped me at least begin the conversation with my mother and be able to describe to her, who was the most important person in my life, to describe to her how, uh, you know, what I do and uh, start a deeper conversation about science with a lay person. Um, and I tell you one thing, I learned more from her than what she learned from me because she has been very insightful in her questions to me. Um, so that's essentially what, what I do. It's a silly comparison, but it helped me.